since it was one of the few restaurants, or they were some of the few restaurants that were even open on John Christmas Eve or Christmas Day, it was only natural that I would eat at a Chinese restaurant. One of the first Chinese restaurants that I ate at, and we're looking more than 50 years ago, was at least community restaurants, was the Yangtze, which opened in 1956, and I do believe that I was there the first week it opened. Interestingly enough, that particular restaurant, because it was in the Snowden Cote de Neige area, which in those days, back in the 50s, was predominantly Jewish, I would say the vast majority of the clientele was Jewish. And they would tend to be there either Saturday night or Sunday, and they usually come with their whole family. This is not a phenomenon that's unique to Montreal. It's unique, it's, it's all over North America. They are used to um, the combos, like the dinner numbers, like number three, four, two, number two, four, two. <laughs> mm -hmm. Change this for that. It's, yeah. a, it's a tradition for them. I can recall um, many, many years when we went on Christmas Eve, we'd go to a movie, an early movie, and then always go out for food. And one of the few places we could eat at nine or 10 o'clock on Christmas Eve was a Chinese restaurant. Now, as you know, some, some people who are, are kosher, they will not eat seafood or pork. So you could always say, well, leave it out. And quite often people will come into Yangtze or anywhere else and say, you know, I'd like uh, uh, Cantonese chow mein, leave out the shrimp and the squid, or, or I wanna have this type of rice, but don't put any pork in there. Or because a lot of the times ingredients were chopped up very small, what they didn't know didn't kill them. We do know that like, uh, uh, a lot of restaurants might be closed, um, so that there's like a lot of people, um, especially Jewish people, coming for dinner on those days. It was very, very busy. Yeah. On the 24th, 25th. The night of the last day of Passover, most Jewish people make a beeline to the nearest Chinese restaurant to break, not the fast, but to break the lack of continuity of their love of Chinese food to be able to eat on a regular basis. And it's, it's a very, that's a very interesting uh, phenomenon as well. I know I couldn't wait until Passover was over and go and eat some Chinese food.